Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of Hey, What's Next? Today, it's a little off topic uh, for really what I want to do, but I thought that there may be some of you out there that are in a similar dilemma, and that is trying to decide on a KVM for your computer setup. As I stated in an earlier video, I have a computer problem, and with work, it means yet one more computer. But I'm trying to rearrange this office, and I wanted to make certain that I could at least combine a couple of these systems using a singular monitor and a singular keyboard and mouse. So today we're going to look at the KSEVE 4-port HDMI USB 3 KVM switch. Is it any good? I don't know. Let's find out. This is what's next. So here it is. This is the KSEV Seeds KVM port adapter. Uh, it'll do up to four PCs to one monitor. Ironically enough, they're only showing a Mac connected to a monitor, but it's a direct connection. Odd that they're not showing the product, right? Anyway, so here we go. We are looking at its low power uh, ESD product protection, compatibility, simple design, and then some information on the back telling you where you could use it. Uh, this was an Amazon purchase that was $10 off when I bought it. Uh, obviously, prices on Amazon fluctuate constantly, so just know that it's available. I'll put a link down below. It's a non-affiliated account, and nor is this sponsored. This is something that I used my own money for. So let's take a look at this real quick. And then we're going to do some of the setup. So as we look at my setup, I have three computers, one Samsung widescreen monitor. And right now I'm using three sets of keyboards and mice. I want to try to condense that into one. So hopefully this will work. So here it is. This is the box. So if we take a look at this real quick. We do have... Uh, interesting, this says select, so that must be the remote control. We have these four buttons on and off switch, USB connections on the back. So we have PC one through four with one HDMI and one USB three out. And then there is the connection to the monitor and the five volt barrel jack plug that'll go there. This is metal. Um, the construction, it's very heavy. Um, if we move this box out of the way, it does have these rubberized feet at the bottom. And it does seem to stay put, so good. So far, so good. Let's see what else we get in the box. Lots of stuff. All right, so the first thing that we see here is we have the USB-A to A connection. There should be four of these. This is our book. We'll look at that in a second. We have one HDMI, uh, obviously for out, which is good, because I didn't know if I'd have enough HDMI cables to get this all connected, so bonus. And then here we have, uh, it looks like this is our KVM switch, so you can go between all four connections. And that is a USB-C connection there. And last but not least, we have the power adapter. Uh, this is looking at its five volts, two amps. So it's a 10 watt power adapter. So let's take a look at the uh, manual. Go. It's a USB three HDMI KVM switch. Again, the outside of the box says that this will do 4K uh, 60 Hertz. So we will see about that. We also see that it's RGB 444, uh, HDR compatible. And then there's the other stuff, HDCP 2.2, USB 3. And then this is the information. So it just kind of talks about the switch itself. Uh, there is the information related to the specs. So you see it does support HDMI 2.0. Maximum pixel clock, 340 megahertz, 18 gigabits per second. There's the information for the uh, monitor, resolution, so on and so forth. So if you want to know more, go ahead and pause the video. 
the back side again is showing a little bit of a diagram here and then we have it in Chinese so that's the information there okay now let's see if we can get this thing set up so here is the current setup we have a MacBook Pro 13 inch and then on this side we have a Microsoft Surface laptop that's for my full-time job the MacBook is what I use to edit most of the videos on and in my part-time business we have this HP Elite Desk having three keyboards and mice is a little uh, cumbersome so the goal is to kind of put the KVM switch underneath this IKEA desk stand that I have and then um, then I just have to kind of figure out what keyboard setup that I want so let's get started so eventually this is where I want everything to be connected and have this under here but what I did see and I don't know if you can see that is there's some vents on this side and there's vents on this side so I don't want to put this right next to this for fear that that's going to uh, cause some airflow problems. So what we're going to do though, is we are going to move this out. And I think that that will work. The next step right now is to go ahead and start running some USB cables from the back. So we're only going to need three of those. And because the device is sitting right here, I can go ahead and just select that so i really don't need the remote so the next item is like i said let's get the usb connected and the hdmi and we're going to pick hdmi 2 which is already plugged into one of these devices uh, i think it's the uh, surface laptop and that's going to go into the back of this box since it's already connected and then i just need to connect up the three computers the three usb plug in the power and then we're going to give it a shot here we go we got um work computer the HP elite desk and there's the Mac now the one thing that we could look at real quick and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not so let's go in and let's look at our displays and we are currently this is set to 50 Hertz so that may be more to do with this adapter here than with this. Everything else has been running at 60. Um, so actually, let me uh, let me see if that fixes it. Let me go in here. And now we're at 60 hertz. So it was the adapter here wasn't set to the right HDMI. So, so far, the setup is a success. Downside is the cabling. So let me show you that real quick that's what the back of this thing looks like currently so we'll be cleaning that up later but that's a project for another day so the kc4 port kvm hdmi switch i would say so far is a success all right so how many of you thought that that cabling looked like crap i know i did uh, i will be moving the switch underneath the desk routing all the cables that way uh, to clean things up a little bit um, overall the use has been great the only issue i've been having is with the surface laptop that's my work laptop uh, that was supplied to me it goes through an anchor hub uh, the audio is supposed to get channeled through the monitor but i'm getting some static periodically it's off and on it's not very consistent the other two devices the hp system and the mac the audio is fine with that so i'm still kind of tweaking it, uh, that and if i find anything new i'll put some other stuff in this description as far as the cabling if i you know get that all cleaned up i'll post it on instagram otherwise thank you for watching today's video um, if you liked what you saw please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more content from this channel hit the subscribe button so we end up in your feed uh, watch one of the videos either here or here uh, for more fun entertainment from hey what's next i appreciate you taking the time to watch today's channel and today's video thank you very much and i will see you again on the next episode of hey what's next